Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode, another super late episode of Roblox Game Development. I'm sorry guys, with the school and stuff, um, and work and everything else I do now, it's going to be hard to get out videos at noon. So if I'm releasing videos at 9, 10 o'clock at night, I'm sorry. I really, really, really am. I've tried to get this done all day today just wasn't working. I'm going to do the best I can to get this out though. Alright, so last episode we made the lasers visible. This episode we're going to make it actually hurt our zombie. So let's go to starter, G oh, no, starter pack light firing. Okay guys, I'm going to have the link in the forum again, or in the description again. Go to the forum thread and post support or something showing you support this so that I don't have to keep going here every episode and changing the font size. There's a link in the description of a, Ro a Roblox forum thread on suggestions and ideas. All I need is you to sign support. It'd be great if you could also tell your Roblox friends about this. Get them to sign support and it'd be even better if you could make your own thread of the exact same thing so that I don't so that saves the settings of studio every time uh, so I don't have to do this all the time just please help me out it's so 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 annoying to me and it'd be awesome if you could help out anyway let's uh, let's get to laser fire alright so if hit equals nil it says it didn't hit anything blah 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 but past there we know it hit something so what we're going to do is if Ah, yeah. If hit that parent, find first child. Oops. Zombie, actually, right? Because this is supposed to kill the zombie. So we're actually going to go up here and we're going to make a variable. Local hum name equals zombie. Hum name so that you can change it to humanoid later and it'll kill humanoids instead of just zombies. So hum name. And we're going to go down here and we're going to change this to hum name. Do, 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 do. Hum name. Oh, and I had somebody ask me in a comment, why don't I make my variables at the top like people do in C? I do, by the way. Here are my variables. They're up at the top where most people put them. Um, I think you were mistaken in thinking that stuff like this, S and bullet and stuff, were my variables. And technically, yes, they are. They're my variables in function, in function variables. But these are my more globalized variables, and they are at the top. But in function variables, no. I keep them when I need them. Uh, anyway, so let's get back here. If we find the hum name and hit that parent, uh, oh. Now, here's the problem. We don't want to check if it's a player only. So we're just going to do then, and then we're going to make another if. If hit that parent hum name that class name equals humanoid then now the reason we don't want to check if they're in players is because our zombie won't be in players our zombie is just another model basically it's just a bunch of bricks it's not a player so we're wanting to check if it's a humanoid and we can't really do that up here because then we're gonna get a null reference if this is not true if there is no um, zombie so we don't want to do that okay so if hit that parent blah 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 then uh, hum equal and actually we're gonna do this up here hum equals this and we're just gonna do hum um, then hum that health equals hum that health minus let's say 20 for now you can change that to anything you want you can make it a random variable I don't care I'm just putting 20 right now so we can test this out all right so now we're gonna press f6 spore man 15 great job oh by the way Roblox is having its uh, voting on the blog go ahead and check it out uh, for game developer of the year and stuff like that I suggest you vote for whoever you want but I personally voted for crazy man 32 he is 
an incredible scripter and really he's awesome all right so i suggest vote for crazy man 32 for game developer of the year anyway uh let's go and shoot our zombie shall we hmm we hit base there we go now we're hitting him so see how there's a little bit of a problem with how our mouse is like not it's not shooting spot on where we want it to shoot yeah um i've looked into the problem i'm gonna find a way for us to fix that later all right guys anyway so we're hurting our zombie and he's dying that's all that really matters we'll fix the aiming issue later uh <laughs> Um, I, I don't exactly know how we'll do it without moving everything into our local script. In fact, that might be the only way to do it, is move everything into our local script. But, I'll get it done. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or either the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.